inkedink, 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 No, I don't know anybody named Clanny. No, I do not know any. Face me when you talk to me a little bit better. Um, no, I don't know anybody named Clanny. You sure you're not talking about your granny, Nancy? Because we're going to see your granny probably um, late April or early May down in Florida, and you know. So I know you've been looking forward to that. You know, she's uh, she might be the only person that watches the show. Um, Basil said, <laughs> said she canceled her subscription. Description or subscription? <laughs> Said both. So this 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 uh, business with with Clanny. I, I you know no I don't know anybody named Clanny. It's giving me that look like like I'm like I'm some sort of peasant servant of his. Okay, okay, um, all right. Let's continue the conversation. Go ahead. Um, you know, the audience is waiting. We got we got to we got to have a show today. You know, it's it's, it's Friday night. It's uh, ten o'clock, and we gotta we gotta perform. We don't have. We don't, if we don't perform, how can we do our um, BM baked beans? Original baked beans, 99% fat free, excellent source of fiber, with molasses, pork, and spices. Also, make a vegetarian one. Uh, delicious BM, delicious BM baked beans are slow baked in brick ovens for hours. Our baking method produces beans with a perfect texture and deep flavor, unlike any others. Wholesome and healthful, B and M or BM beans are sweetened with molasses and cane sugar and are an excellent source of fiber. And uh, ninety-nine percent uh, fat for fiber. Are you gonna? You got any football players hanging around that are gonna um, advise us that um, that when they eat BM baked beans, that they um, as long as they face a line of scrimmage, and we learned that in uh, in the superb owl game. Where, uh, where, uh, good friend of, um, <laughs> good friend of Donald Trump, um, Tom Brady, uh, went through three quarters of the game and, and, and after eating a can or two of, of these babies, and, uh, he, whenever he would turn lateral to the line of scrimmage, uh, or heaven forbid, Go back from the line of scrimmage, turn around and go back to pass. And he was all of a sudden he wasn't four yards behind the line of scrimmage. He wasn't seven. He was like twenty yards behind the line of scrimmage, getting tackled. You know, you know, a decent game up to that point, but uh, certainly, and they were behind, big time. Then, miraculously, in the fourth quarter, all of a sudden he realized, oh, jet propulsion, oh. BM baked beans, and uh, rather than turning around and going back to pass, he just backpedaled a few yards, and uh, when he ran, he ran like uh, 10, 15, 20 yards at a clip, and uh, with that jet propulsion, BM baked beans, and he uh, his arm was was a, all of a sudden was a rocket. And he was connecting on passes all over the place, and, and you know, you know the result. Um, BM baked beans. And the other guy, on the other hand, the quarterback for the Falcons, um, who I, I can't remember his name anymore. I mean, he's 
any quarterback that has a huge lead in the Super Bowl is destined to be, at that point, the um, not only the league MVP for the season, but the Super Bowl MVP on top of that. That was something that's never happened. He was scheduled for that. He was It was a guarantee at that point. And all of a sudden, uh, I guess he must have had some of these babies too. And he did the opposite. All of a sudden, instead of going toward the, you know, backing up quick, quick backup or, or, or shotgun position, um, and then the jet propulsion, BM baked beans, kicked in. And uh, he started, uh, all of a sudden, they're at the 15 yard line or the 20 yard line, and they got a guaranteed easy field goal which would have put him ahead by, I don't think, like 22 points. And it was, there, there was no way in the world there was enough time to catch him. And there wouldn't have been. But um, all of a sudden, he turns around and goes back to pass, and he faces away from the line of scrimmage, and bang, he's 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. He gets tackled. Um, all of a sudden, they're out of field goal range, and BM baked beans. With molasses, pork, and spices, it'll jet propulsion you up. Okay, so, Clanny, no, no, okay, 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 Basil's giving me that, that smirk and he's, he's, he's rotating three of his left whiskers counterclockwise, so I know he's got something snarky to say, okay, uh, by the way, snarky behind the camera, snarky and Tweety, our sound engineer, and oh, let's not forget about um, up in the uh, hammock, uh, Bill Murray, um, Stephen T. Colbert, of the formerly of the Colbert Report, now of the uh, late night, late show with Stephen Colbert, and uh, Drew Carey, L. F. 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 And uh, even on Friday nights, we'll never tell our audience what the acronym L. F. 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 stands for. So don't even ask. Um, so, okay, here you go. Said, um... Okay, he said, um... Bezel said, don't, don't... Don't you read the Washington Post? Because I posted... There was an article... About, um... About Jeff Sessions. And, uh... And I posted, I, Basil Budicat, presents... Posted. Printed. And, uh... Liked by... Uh, probably more people than anybody, any other comment on the thread. And I mentioned Clanny. That I had gotten Clanny, Jeff Sessions' cat Clanny, to come on the show. Now, is that C L A N N Y or K? L A N N Y. Basil. Okay, he's again. He's squinting his eyes. And uh, here you go. <coughs> Said uh, you could take that K and triple it up, and you got it. <laughs> okay. Hey, I can read backwards. Welcome. To Sessions Hood. Okay. So, so, what do you mean by hood? Is it hood like, you know, boys in the hood? Neighborhood? A hood is your neighborhood? Or is it a hood like uh, an apparatus that. <laughs> okay. I don't even have to finish asking you the question. I can see the hood. Okay. Um. So, okay, so uh, what's going on with, um... Okay. It is on this phone, by the way. Okay, uh, Tweety, uh, let's do some engineering and uh, let's uh, confirm that, uh, yep, coming from Alabama. And it is coming from the house of Jeff Sessions. Okay, okay. Okay, now is this Clanny? 
Right? It is, it's Clanny. Now, how did you meet Clanny, Basil? Said, <coughs> said, I met him on Scrabbleboard. We're playing online Scrabble. And uh, as you can see, Basil's Scrabble board is right here, and he, they, you know, they, they're very active in playing Scrabble online. Now, do you ever, do you play in English, or is there such a thing as a cat Scrabble board? Said. <coughs> said, what do you think invented Scrabble? Leave it to cats. So let me just, I'm just going to stand up for a second. I'm going to, hold on, Clayton. I'll be right back. Um, the court is, I see, I guess we ran out of S's. The court is now in Sessions Hood. Oh, and we still have, um, remember, I remember for a couple weeks we've been talking about this, um, that if you take the letters in Barack Obama and the letters in Donald Trump and jumble them around, you get... A proud black man, and you get left over bad bar mad Bart or mad brat or bad whatever. Mad or bad, either way. So um I don't wanna The monkey cat might be coming up here. I wanna make sure there's a an old, very old. Is that an Egyptian banana peel? Hmm. Okay, he's contemplative right now. Okay. Hold on, Clanny. We'll be right back with you. We're just we're just trying to determine something about um, this um, brownish. This is a banana peel, isn't it? And it's not 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 another another leftover from the Hershey's uh, Hershey's company. Um, there's no the um, the big one, the big kiss. I mean, look at this is old. This is, I mean, we brought these, we brought these back from Africa. Well, brought them back. We, Basil flung them like a frisbee, about a hundred of them, and bang, 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 uh, through the air. Skipped on the Atlantic Ocean a few, few times. Um, last skip, right up to 600, 900 feet above sea level to Bethel, Connecticut, and landed in our yard. And thankfully, it didn't rain during the uh, during the time before from when we did this and when we got home because otherwise we would not only have uh, Hershey's Kiss Awards but we would also have quite a few mushroom awards too or toadstools one or the other so we've been handing these out and uh, now Basil we've handed out 26 of them we've got 74 left 26 handed out and we handed out 25 of them to Drump can we get creative Later in the show, get creative, because we've got Clanny on the line, and uh, and Clanny, I'm sure, has a bit to tell us about uh, his person, Jeff Sessions. Um, can we give out a couple of these, um, one or two of these, maybe later in the show? Basil just shook his head. Yeah. He said, Oh, of course. Yeah. Said, yeah. Um, so, Clanny, okay. You know, we got a pretty full schedule for this this show. I mean, we've we've got uh, uh, Basil's uh, Fork You Magic Mirror, so we can reach out into the audience and uh, to kids and uh, adults and uh, do like they used to do on Romper Room and uh, call out a name. And for instance, if we call out Jeff, then every every person out there that's watching that's named Jeff is going to think we're talking directly to them. A direct hotline, and they'll say, "Oh, Basil, Basil was Basil's talking to me. Basil was thinking, Basil's thinking to me. I'm, I'm special." Okay, so um, enough of that tripe. So, um, so Clanny, you are, as I understand it, Jeff Sessions, uh, Chief Justice, uh, the, not Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, but head of the Justice Department, Jeff Sessions, and, uh, okay, Clanny, Clanny didn't say yes and he didn't say no, Clanny said, da, comrade, 
Where you been? Okay, Clanny's telling me that he's been you've been back and forth to Russia a few times. Who was there with um with this person talking about well, says uh says my person, Jeff Sessions, is 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 claiming that you know, never mind the fact that I that I lied in front of Congress and said that I hadn't been to Russia during the uh, during or hadn't talked to anybody from Russia uh, during the um, during the election cycle. Um, but I mean, I might have said that. I might have said I hadn't talked to anybody from Russia, and certainly not um, a person very high up in the uh, Russian government. Um, Kloinov or Klikakov or fuck you a cough and uh, something like that. Um, so, but he was, but he was, he was talking to this dude, this Russian dude, and uh, you know, Sessions says when they, when Sessions got caught that he did. He now he's um, now he's claiming that well you know we, we were just talking about the weather and uh, you know pussy grabbing and you know things that are that are very innocuous in the uh, in the world of Donald Trump, um, but people are saying that I was talking about politics and uh, giving them something in exchange for them uh, trying to screw up the election, and we know that that they did try. We don't know whether they succeeded or not. We don't know whether they were the um, the deciding factor. We don't know whether they were able to compromise um, voting machines in um, in certain states. Um, and we may never know that. But we do know that. Um, Clanny said, "Oh yeah, we do know that Jeff Sessions, my person, was talking to these higher ups." in the Russian government about things other than the weather or pussy grabbing. Now, when you say pussy grabbing, are you talking about, um, like he, maybe he was, you were flitting through the living room and he reached down and, and grabbed your tail or something? Or stroked your head or something? Okay, Clanny, Clanny's giving me a very definitive net, comrade. Okay. So not, okay, not talking about uh, that. Not talking about the weather. Not talking about uh, the manly art of uh, Trumpish pussy grabbing. Okay. You know, I hear another voice in the background. Um, another voice in the background. Is, is, is head of, this, uh, head of uh, the Justice Department, Jeff Sessions, have another cat that lives there? Okay, Clanny said, uh, "Yeah, yeah, does. I mean, I'm the one that's, I'm the one that's on the phone here. But there's, I'm getting coached in the background by by my uh, my brother. Um, okay, can we either get your brother on the line too, or can we, um, you know, can you tell us a little bit of something about your brother, his name? Um, okay, Clanny says, um, Kuklos." So we got Kuklos and Clanny. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, are you the guys that sent us this um, welcome? Welcome with three K's instead of a C. Welcome to Sessions Hood. And, well, it's, you know, <laughs> it is that shape, isn't it? Okay. So um, uh, we gotta we gotta move along. We got some other stuff to do. Uh, we have to do our our basils, um, fork you romper room magic mirror trademark. Um, probably gotta try another couple commercials. We're trying to get some more corporate sponsors. Get them back at the very least. And uh, we're gonna put you on hold for a moment, and then we'll get back with you. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So much for the banana and, uh, and the uh, gaucho hat. Okay. Hey! Oh my goodness, look at that. That's right, I remember when that happened because that was, um, 
This was actually John Roberts, Chief Justice John Roberts' cat, who uh, they, who came uh, came on the show back in 2012 uh, when the Affordable Care Act was um, was voted on by the Supreme Court, and John Roberts casted a deciding vote in favor of keeping the Affordable Care Act. Uh, actually, the Affordable Care and Portability Act, because. You could take it with you if you change jobs, and that was one of the big complaints about um, people wouldn't leave their jobs and go to another job. They stayed on a job they didn't like and weren't particularly happy with um, because they were concerned that if they moved from job to job, they would lose their health insurance for them and their family. So the Affordable Care and Portability Act, uh, also known as the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. So, um, oh, okay, hey. What do we still got here? Um, Drump. It's the picture of Drump. It's the one that uh, that his um, his foundation commissioned this and paid twenty thousand dollars for it. We know they paid, we know they paid twenty thousand dollars because coming right out of the guy's mouth is I guess says twenty thousand dollars, and uh, we know it's worth twenty thousand dollars. Of course we do because look. It probably took at least about a second and a half to do with a green, a green felt tip pen, green magic marker, and it's an absolute, absolute stunning likeness. Except it's not an orange. Okay. Well, well, I guess, I guess um, I'm Irish, so I guess I can explain that to some degree. Um, that. Um, Trump wanted to reach out to Catholics because Trump is actually, well, he's not Irish background, he's German background. The, the name is Drump, um, more of an Eastern European background. And uh, so for him, it would be an orange. It would be an orange magic marker. But it's in green magic marker because Trump wanted to reach out to Irish Catholics, and it's important. You know, you're, you're kissing babies, you're grabbing women by the pussy, doing all kinds of stuff to... Um, to ingratiate yourself to the electorate when you're out, out and about on the campaign trail, so I guess he wanted to reach out to the Irish Catholics and therefore the, um, therefore the green, the green magic marker. Okay. Now, so we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna are we gonna reach back to some old corporate sponsors? I mean. I think they've all deserted us. I mean, we had we had uh, P A and W root beer, not to be found anywhere. We had uh, Hershey's Kisses. Well, we got the lion size Hershey's Kiss, and before make sure before the end of tonight's show that we uh, we hand out one of these because um, there's someone out there that's deserving, no likely, more than likely. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go catfishing. We better not go catfishing because there's so much stuff on the table. There's so much stuff on the table that Walter comes up here. Not gonna be dusting. She's gonna be excavating. No. Walter knows better. Oh. Walter's on vacation this week? Wow. You know that means that means that, that Walter's only got uh, only got instead of having oh. <laughs> instead of having a hundred and sixty seven hour 59 minute and 20 second time off each week. Walter's got the full 168 this week. No 40 seconds of dust in this week for this cat. I guess, I guess Walter's back early from vacation. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, so we got to get in... Uh, 
commercial for something. You got to get in. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Okay. Oh, that should be behind your head. Who mucked you up today? Basil said. You did. He said, uh, you did. So, okay. Good. Walter, Walter's going to enjoy the rest of the week off. So, BM, baked beans. The original baked beans. Heating directions. Stove top. Put beans into saucepan. Stir occasionally over medium heat until hot. Microwave. Place beans into microwave safe container. Cover. Heat on high, two to three minutes. Stir and enjoy. Questions or comments? Oh, says, oh, probably pretty important. Refrigerate unused portions. But why would there be any unused portions? I mean, you know, this, this, is, a, this is an appetizer for, for anybody. And it's only uh, 28 ounces. Yep, 28 ounces. It's, it's, it's a mere appetizer. So questions or comments? Consumer relations, box K. Box KKK. No, it's box K. 1K in this case. Uh, Roseland, New Jersey, 07468. www.bm beans.com B&G Foods Incorporated Parsippany, New Jersey 07054 USA 2011 copyright 2011 B&G Foods Incorporated proudly made in the USA find us on Facebook follow the follow the smell okay so we're about out of time so if we're going to give out a, a Oh, we also want to, um, is there somebody else you want to reach out to? Okay, Basil wants me to reach out to, uh, good evening, Donald. Okay. One more. Well, okay. I guess I have to say this one really softly because otherwise it, it won't be in, in character. Um, good evening, Ben. Okay. I guess you're you're talking about the uh, the Secretary of uh, Housing and Urban Development, who um, swore up and down that he wasn't qualified to run any department, but then Trump said, "Hey, you lived in poverty all your life, didn't you? You you know about you know about the blacks, so you probably could do do a good job doing that." And he said, "Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna." Not even enough time for, uh, for an award tonight, but we'll, we'll take care of one on Sunday. It's been Basil Budicat Presents. I'm David Stevenson, Basil's co-host, assistant, and uh, co-host, interpreter, and chief gopher. And uh, off, off camera now is... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh whoa, Walter. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Good night. They say they'd rob your grandma blind on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Fritter her, her away her Medicare on Wall Street. And pharma oil and their pet fox don't care if she lives in a box. So long as they wear platinum jocks on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Meow.